Day 11. The day started off with me planting sugarcane by the river, then I did a little bit more terraforming with the dirt that I had, and placed pillars on the corners of the back of the house to make it look a little better. I moved on to expanding the farm, where I tilled out a ton more dirt, and placed a ton more wheat seeds. I also flattened some more hills of dirt around my house, and the farm. Made this chest into a double chest, and deposited a lot of random things in my inventory, then finally headed back to the igloo to grab the stuff that I left there. I got everything that was left in this chest, for some reason decided to try and break this brewing stand with my bare hands, because I didn't have have a pickaxe and didn't get the brewing stand because of it. Although it was turning night, I headed back home where I deposited everything that I grabbed, then ended the day. Day 12 started with some good old deforestation, and afterwards I started building a wall to surround my house, making a kind of compound. I extended the outline of the wall quite a bit, even down into the water, but before I could go to bed, I killed a zombie with my fists, and then I went to bed. Day 13, I placed down all of these furnaces and placed rails on top of them to make an automatic smelter, but then realized that I didn't have any power rails, so I scrapped the idea for now. I went down into the mine and began to expand it further. I mined down into this underwater cave, which actually had a not underwater part to it, where I found some iron. Because of the cave though, I had to slowly fill in the hole little by little. After I finished getting past all the water, I just kept mining down. After a while, I ended up mining into another cave, but I explored the whole thing because it was pretty small, and all I really got was some iron and a little bit of redstone, and a few pieces of gold. After exploring the whole cave though, I headed back up to the surface. Once I got up there, I started cooking the cobblestone into stone, so that I can make stone bricks for the wall. I did some farming, then worked on building the wall more. I tried to trap the zombie villager in my mind and was successful, but it despawned later on. And after, I ended the day. Day 15, I started working on the second floor of the house, and I found a skeleton hiding away in my farm irrigation. I expanded the farm even more, then had to mine out the cobblestone in the water to replace it with stone bricks for the wall. I attempted to put a staircase on the back of the second floor towards the ground, but if I'm honest, it looked pretty terrible, so I got rid of it. I tried filling in this gigantic hole that was in the compound, and once again, a zombie got in the way, so I had to stop for a second. I also began placing torches every six blocks apart, continuing the tradition from my last world. And in order to make the place torchment even, I did have to expand the wall, which really sucked because that was a lot of work to do. I also really unfortunately had to move this part of the wall one back as well, which was the worst because this part of the wall extended into the water. I demolished a lot of the wall, but not all of it, and then got back to placing torches. I worked all through that day and all through that night, pretty efficiently as well, almost finishing. I finished placing all of the torches and destroyed more of that wall so that I could replace it with stone bricks instead of cobblestone. Then I farmed all the sugar cane and used the wheat that I had to to lead these cows over to my farm. Afterwards, I used the stone bricks that I made to start rebuilding the wall, and while I was across on the other side of the river to grab a sheep, I looked into this ravine and saw a mine shaft. but it was getting dark so I had to hurry up and lead this sheep using a boat and wheat back to my farm. Once I got back to the farm with the sheep, it was very much night, so it was kind of risky trying to build this still with all of these mobs charging at me, but I placed all of what I had and went to bed. Day 18, I started mining further down, and after mining for a while, I did hear lava over here so I decided to mine towards it and go check it out, which led me straight into a mine shaft. I made my a sword because I knew I was gonna have to get rid of some cobwebs, found some gold, then ran straight into a spider spawner. So I placed torches on it quickly and had to deal with the spiders around it, which honestly got me pretty low on hearts. In this minecart, I got another golden apple. The mineshaft led me into this cave with a lot of gold and iron in it, which then led me into an even bigger cave. Once I ran out of torches though, I left the cave with a ton of iron and a ton of gold. Once I got up there, I started using the stone bricks that I had to continue building the wall. Afterwards, I went to bed. Day 20, I grabbed a bunch of deep slate and started building up so that I could make a mob spawner for an XP farm. I built up 21 blocks because it takes 22 blocks to kill most mobs, then built in this direction so that I could put water to make the mobs fall when they spawn. Once I ran out of deep slate, I bred the cows, farmed up everything again, and started placing windows and the window frames on the second floor. I chopped down some trees and used it to start building this house inside of the complex, where I'm gonna house villagers. I finished the house, and by that time, it was the next day, so I got ready for the next 10 days. Wake up in the morning, with some gas, I feel lovely. Yo, this in my line, she keeps saying that she love me. I can never love a bitch, my attitude's 